Hello and welcome to another exciting edition of The Matrixer with Jonathan and Shiva. And today a really very exciting video. It's nice that I say that every week, so a very exciting topic today. Yes, today the big question is how many people really live on Earth? That is, people who have a physical body or how many are walking around here on our planet? With or without a soul? Yeah, right. And so we thought about it and we have two options as to how we can approach the topic. What's interesting is that on Statista.com, for example, we can find out how many people live in each country. And the point is there, the number is recorded down to the last person. So that means the statistics, the public official statistics, assume that they have counted every person on the planet in every country. And yes, that's not possible, is it? No. Anyone who has ever taken part in the census knows this. One doesn't answer at the front door, or the other refuses, or then the other lives on the street. So it's fundamentally not possible. Yes, that too. And of course, there are so many places around the world where you can't get to. Yes. Unless they have a giant scanner in space. <laughs> Then there is the point that we know from a reliable source that there are always two census statistics. A public one that is then visible to everyone on the internet. is visibly displayed, is published, and then there are also the secret statistics where everything is written down and how it really behaves. So what you see on the internet is actually a pimped up version. Shall we give an example? We'll now tell you a secret example. Do you have one there? Yes, we know someone who works there or no longer works there. And we got much more exciting numbers from them than from Statista.com. How many German children up to the age of six really still live in Germany? Or how many German children still exist in Germany up to the age of six? And what do the unofficial statistics say? I don't remember the exact number, but four or six percent were all German children. Yes, that is quite intense just like the total population of German residents. You think that's at least 50 or 60 percent. It's significantly less, significantly. Statista.com says we somehow have 8.3 billion people in the world. Yes, and we want to take a quick look at that today from two perspectives. The first perspective is what do the statistics say and what is wrong with them? And where were the numbers changed? And the second point in this video is that we have also started a query in which we will then determine how loud our media abilities are really walking around on Earth. So those are the two parts of the video. And we can say straight away that one of them is lying. Yes, we asked about this very carefully. We also queried not only for the humans, but also for extras, queried for clones, for the known continents on the planet, for the unknown continents on this planet, and for the inner eagles. So let yourself be surprised. These will be exciting numbers. Yes, some of you may be thinking, my God, what are you doing with numbers and people you count in the world and so on? <laughs> You're absolutely right. It's actually completely nonsense, but we thought it was funny. Yes, we found it really funny. And that's why we thought, let's make the video and now we'll analyze how many people are really walking around on Earth and is there any truth to the rumor that we live in an overpopulated world. Yeah. 
So according to Statista.com and some other statistics, official statistics, there are supposed to be 1.5 billion people in China. In India, we have 1.4 billion. In the EU, we have 500 million. And in the USA, we have like 350 million. And of course, don't forget that with these statistics, the number has actually been recorded down to the last digit. <laughs> Correct? And if, of course, the numbers have been noted down to the last digit and they mostly refer to the census, i.e. the census, then they largely refer to the census. But is the census correct? Are the census results really structured in such a way that all of this is true? And we want to look at that and maybe we'll find out that none of this can be right. So take China as an example. 1.5 billion people are said to live there. Yes, 53% of China's total population lives in cities. That means about 750 million of all Chinese people live in cities. And about 47%, the rest, the second half, live in villages and in the countryside. Yes, and the city is there. Yes, then let's take a closer look. Then we do the statistics. There are 31 major cities in China, and according to the count, 250 million people live in these major cities. Okay, okay, then where do the other 1.25 billion live? Apparently in small towns and villages, and in the countryside. Therefore, this means that if 1.25 billion live in small towns and villages, and we are now assuming that there are 1,000 or 2,000 people living in such a village, then there should soon be over 1.2 million villages in China. And that's a bit much. You were in China once. Have you seen so many villages there? So I drove from south to north, east to west. No. What was it like there? Is it like in Germany that you come to a village like this every five kilometers? No, far less. So fundamentally similar across the entire planet, including in India. Then we also traveled through America, North, South, and many countries on this planet. Not true. They are all so sparsely populated that you can sometimes drive 100 kilometers and not even see a person. So maybe more like in the USA? Yes, like that, if you've ever been there. So let's assume that the statistics are not correct. Of course, we would have to find out how many really live in China now. Yes. And of course, there are many other statistics, such as the food supply across China. What kind of yields do they have in rice, grain, meat, potatoes, and everything else? And of course, in China, you need a lot of stuff to serve 1.5 billion people. What has to be harvested, what has to be produced, and so on? According to statistics, it turns out that about 2.4 tons are calculated per capita in China, which he feeds, consumes per year. So that means another 0 0.6 tons per year are needed to feed animals, to plant crops, to make pastries and whatnot to get this all done. So here we have about one ton per year per capita in China. So the production of all grains, rice, potatoes, meat, everything that goes with it should be 1.5 billion tons per year. And then nothing is exported, right? Yes, correct. And China is a big export country who export a lot. 
so they would then have to produce at least two to three billion tons per year. But they don't, because if you look at the statistics, they look completely different. What they produce is much, much lower. Because if you look at these numbers and see how much they actually produce, you can see that the 1.5 billion figure can never be right, but apparently everyone gets there. There isn't an abundance in China now because a lot of it is exported, but if you look at these numbers for grain production and meat production, it results in a completely different population size. Namely one in about 250 million live in cities and 230 million in rural areas. And that was it. Nothing 1.5 billion. But based on these numbers, you can calculate that there are only about half a billion people in the whole of China. And the same is true with India, right? But that's where it's even more extreme, I think. Yes, India is even more extreme, exactly. It is claimed that there are 1.4 billion people who live there. According to statistics, 23% of people in India live in cities. The remaining 77% live somewhere in the countryside or in villages at 1.4 billion. That would mean that 500 million people live in cities and 900 million in rural areas. Wikipedia, for example, says there are only 110 million people living in cities. Also interesting. That means the other 1.3 billion all live in rural areas, in villages. How many villages would there have to be there? And a Millions. The statistics on Irusa D are also interesting. For example, they say the following. Almost 23% of India's population lives in cities. The three major cities of Bombay, Delhi and Calcutta have a combined population of over 27.5 million. These are approximately 33% of the total population of India. So according to Irusa, we only have 90 million Indians. Yes, it's funny because you first see the relativity of all these statistical statements. Some say this, others say that. And the mainstream proclaims that we all live in an overpopulated world. And India is a very good example. In China, we have now noticed a little bit. Have they doctored the numbers by three times? Or did they miscalculate? Quaffed, yes. Yes, and in India we can easily find out that they have exaggerated the numbers by five times. Yes, in India we actually only have a fifth, and in China only a third of what is stated. Correct. Yes, we made the cut from that and thought then they probably screwed up four times as much all over the world. Yes, and if you assume that we have around 8 billion people on this planet and we take four times that away, we actually only have 2 billion people on this planet. As I said, we drove through many countries around the world, India, USA, China, Asia in general, South America, and we can confirm that approximately, well, for me, at least 80% of the land areas were uninhabited. I would... say so you can actually drive kilometers hundreds of kilometers without even meeting a single person let alone villages like in the USA remember yes USA driving around for hours you always looked at the fuel gauge and thought hopefully that's enough to get to the next gas station and on the whole journey of I don't know 300 400 kilometers we drove through nothing so to speak through the wasteland where a car might come towards you every hour. Yes, and we are like that, like that, like that. We drove thousands of kilometers across the whole of America. 
Yes, and sometimes no one came towards you for hours. We thought that if someone ran out of gas here, they could apparently wait half a day for someone to come along. And then it continues. And then he stops and maybe pushes a petrol can against you. So I think a few people have already died. That's our personal impression that we drove through the countries and then really thought, where are the people? So very interesting. But of course, we didn't just approach the matter from a logic perspective, as we have just explained, and compared the statistics. China, how many should live there, how many should live in India, how much do they use in grain production and wheat and rice and what else, I don't know. And how does that fit with feeding the residents there and so on? No, we also looked at it in the media. That means we used our skills and then asked Shiva here to establish contact. <laughs> and should ask how the numbers really behave. Exciting results. Yes, definitely. So we now have two numbers. That is, the first number is the public statistics that say we have about 8.3 billion people on the planet. Left-leaning Gehenhalben analysis, i.e. our logical analysis, has found that no, there are a maximum of 2 billion in the world. And now let's see what our inner contact says about it. Exactly. Let's ask him now. Please don't pin us down on the numbers. Here too we have rounded the numbers down and up a little so that the calculation in the end is a little simpler, works out and is understandable for everyone. So if I say a different number in a Zoom meeting at some point, it will only be because the other numbers here are rounded up and down. But it's roughly correct. All the numbers are correct and accurate. So our medial query, our paranormal query, or whatever you want to call it, clairvoyant query, choose a term for it, are of course just rough numbers. Unfortunately, we cannot provide numbers that are correct down to the last decimal place. We can only provide approximate figures. We then asked, what is the total population of planet Earth? What came of it? All physical bodies on this planet, on the planet, are around 1.6 billion. 1.6 billion, good, not 8 billion. Okay, our media contact says, no, 8 billion is nonsense, it's only 1.6 billion. Well, let's build on these numbers. And 1.6 billion through the media query, I would say, is closer to the 2 billion that we found out using logic. So we now have three numbers. The public number on the internet is 8.3 billion. Our calculated number is approximately 2 billion. Because for many people, the public figures have been exaggerated by an average of four times. Yes, and we now have a media figure of 1.6 billion. Yes, but what we haven't taken into account in the whole calculation are the extras. Are the extras included in the 1.6 billion questioned? Yes, they are included. Those are included. That means we have far fewer animated people than the 1.6 billion. Yes, if we assume, as we have always said, and we are now calculating generously, 80% are matrix AI generated humans. Then only 20% remains. That means, according to the query, there are only 400 million people on Earth. Yes, about 400 million. So, of course, I asked about all of that. 
actually the numbers are correct. So 400 million are soulful people. That is not much. So now compared to the 8 billion. That means we still have 1.2 billion extras. Correct. So we have 1.2 billion extras and 400 million people with souls who have had themselves projected into a body here, I would say. Yes. And of the approximately 400 million physical bodies with souls, about 5% are star seeds. Star seeds, therefore, mean those who have hacked their way into the matrix from outside the matrix using state of the art technology and taken over a human body? About cryocapsules? Yes, so about the cryocapsules, you remember. We found that approximately 7% clones exist in this world. Yes, according to media inquiries, 7% clones. That's just what we asked. And how many of these 7% clones are sold? Far less than half. So 3% of the 7% clones are sold. So that means we have 5% starseeds that came in with modern technology and then 7% clones roughly... So that means 88% came here via the original source, from the original source, directly, or got here in some other way, or have always been here. One does not know and have perhaps already regenerated 37,000 times. Quite possible we don't know. And what haven't we taken into account yet? That's right, the inner earth. There are also people or creatures who live underground, in huge caves the size of states. So I asked, it would have to be around 300 or 350 million. That means there are around 400 million people living on Earth and 300, 350 million in the Earth. That's pretty balanced. Yes, but the thing is, in the inner Earth, there are no extras. So of the 350, 300 million who live in the inner Earth, all of them have souls. Aha, yes, that would then match our number again. So the ratio is actually pretty balanced. Yes, and just as people like to tinker with the public statistics to make everything look as if the planet was completely overpopulated, they also tinkered a bit with the continents. We also have a video on this topic. And now comes the kicker. Yes, we said earlier that we have 350 to 400 million animated physical bodies on Earth. But how many of them live on the continents we know? And how many on the continents we don't know? Because they exist? That's the kicker about the story. But the Earth is much larger than we have been told. Are the 350 million somehow now minus extras and so on? Are they all spread out all over the big earth? Yes, they actually are. So on the continents we know, Asia, China, America, South America, Europe, etc., of the almost 350 to 400 million, only a third are actually alive. This means that, according to the query, there are only around 125 million souls living in the world we know. Physical bodies, that's awesome, isn't it? But it also makes sense, because when we are in a dissociative state, we have also seen that in large cities, in Mexico, for example, there was only one other living being apart from... Us, and that was a city with 500,000 inhabitants. 
So if you look at the world from above, you might see 120 million shining dots and then the other 350 million on the other side of the planet that we are not allowed to see. Yes, very exciting, although I can already hear some sayings. How can it be that this video has 1.2 billion hits on YouTube? Oh, did it? Will it have? Yes, we have a lot of extra friends. Yes, exactly, because there are two billion people who can watch YouTube, theoretically. Well, anyway, that's what we wanted to tell you briefly. And don't believe every statistic you read. And there will always be two camps. There will always be the camp that doesn't believe our statistics. And there will always be a camp that doesn't believe the public statistics. So no matter what you say on the internet or on YouTube, half of you will think it's great, half of you won't. That's just life in the duality of the matrix. Well said. Yes, we wanted to tell you how things are going with the entire world population and the issue of overpopulation. And now you can see what we think about it, how we roughly assess it. And yes, we hope you enjoyed the video. Buy Amara.org community captions.